What does the word failure mean to you? It means that something's gone wrong. It's the absence of success, not accomplishing your goal. It's when you try your best and you don't like, and you don't succeed, and it's when you put all that effort and you don't come out with like the right result that you wanted to. Means when you've got a goal but you don't reach that goal and like and you don't get to where you want to be. Child's Marvelous Guide to Heart Failure. So who is Pump and Marvelous? We are the Pumping Marvellous Foundation and we are the UK's patient-led heart failure charity. And we've created this video for the young people and children whose parents or grandparents have recently been diagnosed with heart failure. Like and share this video with someone who needs to hear it. Enjoy the video. What is a heart? So the heart's a muscle uh, and it's one of the hardest working muscles in the body. It beats every second of the day and all through the night. Yeah, it's like this big thing in your chest that helps you live and pumps blood around your body. That's very good. What is heart failure? Heart failure is when your heart isn't pumping properly. And it's like when your body doesn't get the oxygen food it needs. Heart failure can be caused by loads of different things like heart attacks or maybe high blood pressure. Heart failure doesn't just affect older generations, it can affect all generations. How will this make me feel? I felt um, worried because I was so confused that I didn't, I didn't know what was going on and why my dad was in hospital and all that. It made me feel as if he was dehumanised, like he wasn't my dad anymore in that moment in the hospital. Because I hadn't seen him for a while and then I come to see him and he's in all these wires. He's almost like a machine just hooked up to like a power source. What I always wanted to know. Could my, my, my nanny pass away from heart failure? When you have somebody in your family that's ill with anything, we always worry about what's the worst that can happen to them. And for some serious conditions, which heart failure can be, the most serious thing can be so that somebody does die from it. But there's lots of things that we can do to try and stop that from happening. There's lots of treatments that we give people that try and make them feel better and live longer. And over time, there's more and more of those. So although we do worry about that and when you see the internet it can show you the, the worst side of things, it's about looking at the best and the positives and what we can do to help people and there is a lot. What can you do if you're worried? I think it's really important to talk to them because they'll have worries as well. You know, they're going to be worrying about protecting you and you'll be worrying about protecting them and then sometimes neither of you speaks to either of you. Yeah. Okay, so it's really important to speak to them and sometimes if they don't want to talk about it then maybe if they've got a specialist nurse or if they've got a specialist doctor you can always ask to speak to them as well um, and there is support out there. Failure is not an option. Learn to live with heart failure. What does this mean for my family? Me and my dad go out on his e-bike and yeah it's just so fun that he can come out with me and go on bike rides, go places, and not get out of breath. So when I was eight, uh, my dad was diagnosed with heart failure. I think it was eight. Uh, it was in 2009 at Christmas time, and he was becoming really, really ill really quickly. So thankfully he did get better, and he went on to be the founder of the Pumping Marvelous Foundation. And that's absolutely crazy to think about. And the fact that he thought of Patients helping patients. To me, it seems like quite like a superman. When someone you love or you care about has been told they've got heart failure, it's going to be really scary for you as well. And that's fine and that's completely understandable. You might be annoyed about it, and cross about it, frustrated and have loads and loads of questions. And again, that's really, really normal. I think what's best to do is to try and understand the condition and understand what your mum or dad is going through and that's really the, the reason that we're making this uh, video to help uh, young people like yourself to understand the condition. 
We're here to tell you that it's okay. It's okay that you're not feeling yourself. It's okay that you're worried about your family member with heart failure. It's okay that you have a lot of questions that you may not want to ask people or you're frightened that the answers may be things that you don't want to hear. It's okay to ask your, your family member. It's okay to ask your heart failure nurse. It's okay to go with your family member to the hospital, visit and ask the questions you want to ask. Thank you for watching Child's Marvelous Guide to Heart Failure. We hope this video has helped you. For more marvelous guidance and to see the full video with a lot more information, check out the links in the description. Child's Marvelous Guide to Heart Failure.